jabronis. Well, um, I had a very productive day today. Um, I'm kind of making this video. I don't really know, like this. Guys, I just want to say this brass house shit works. Okay. Um, I, I made a really big six figure service sale, which, you know, hundred thousand dollar service job. It's a massive, massive sale. Like it's different, you know, it's different than a hundred thousand dollar construction project. It's a lot, a lot more margin in it. <laughs> you know, this is a really big sale, but aside from that, there's a, one of my biggest customers, probably my second biggest customer. Um, like right now I'm doing like 400 grand in jobs for this one customer and they, that customer does, you know, a half billion, $500 million a year. So this is a big customer, big, big company. And I was talking to one of the VPs today about a kind of small project we did, we did for him at this high school this weekend. And it was bid for three like journeymen to work on a Saturday. I mean, this is an expensive job, you know, for one day. And and the school was supposed to provide a lot of this material that we were supposed to install, but they didn't have it. It wasn't available. And so we couldn't get it done. And it turned out there was a blockage at one of these sinks. And um, so I talked to the guy, you know, who was like one of these VPs who was kind of running this job. And I was like, you know, I was like, well, I'll be honest with you. You know, I only bid it for one day's work. And I, you know, I got three top guys, to, you know, journeyman to give you on a saturday to try to get this all knocked out in a day and we couldn't he was like oh no i expect you to give me a change order i was like well i was like you know we're gonna have to do a change order for for coming back a second trip and we're gonna have to do one for the you know clearing that blockage with the sewer machine i was like but i'll tell you what i'll do i was like you know i was like i'll just be up front with you i priced this job for me to do really well if we got it done in one day I was like, so, you know, I don't want to, I want to make this easy for you guys. Cause I know you're gonna have to go back to the customer. So I was like, so here's what I'm thinking. I'll charge you $600. Just cover my, my guys, you know, cause I'm about to send one guy out on a Saturday, just cover his time. And I still did really well on that job. You guys can use this change order to hit a home run for y'all side. You know? And I mean, he told me, he's like, well, Corey, you can charge more than that. You know? And I was like, nah, man, I was like, I want to make this easy for y'all. Let's just I was like, just cover what I got in it and we're good. And he was like, man, well, he's like, you know, since you're so upfront with me, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, be honest with you, you know, like, cause I, I, I use that line. I always use, I told him, I was like, ah, don't worry about it, man. I was like, you know, I'm here to do business for a long time, not one time. And he was like, man, that's just why we love doing business with you. You know, he's like, I don't want you to go just charge me whatever you feel like, but you are our preferred contractor. And, um, that felt really good. This is a big company and, you know, and it's, I've only been doing work with them for like six months and to like it kind of slowly started out and now it's like really, really picking up and like, I'm just now scratching the surface, but man, that relationship's good. And it's just little shit like that, you know? And like, that's what I mean by that, like brass house shit. Cause I don't hear anybody out here, uh, talking about the shit that I talk about, man. Like no one, everybody's telling you, like trying to tell you all these tips and tricks and shit. And it's really all the shit your grandpa told you, man, all the shit your dad was saying, like it's worked really well for me. You know what I mean? And like, it's just little things like that. Like, like what I just told you about how I kind of was just transparent with the customer and let them know, Hey man, I'm still going to do well. You know, I made sure I was going to do well off this job. So it's not like I told them I'm not making money. I told them I'm doing well off you, but because of that, I'm able to help you out in this way, scratch your back. And like, he, you know, he, he went ahead and kind of, he said, well, I won't keep my cards close to the vest either. I'll go ahead and tell you, you know, you're our fucking dude. And like, you know, they're talking about another like $220,000, $250,000 job they got for me that may be starting early, early 2025. And um, a bunch of other kind of jock work, which I don't know if y'all know what that is, but it's job order contracting. It's, it's the, to me, the most premium work there is, in my opinion. It's like, it's public work. So the margins are much higher. Like the pricing is way higher. If you try to give like a cheap price, you probably won't get the job because they won't think you're qualified for it. But like jock, jock, job order contracting is, is for public institutions, big institutions like that have like federal and state money, right? Because like a, like a college, a big hospital, airports, stuff like that. And the reason they have this jock contracting, what it is, is anything that's publicly funded, a project over $50,000 has to go through the bid process. Well, the bid process takes like, can take years. So... Like say there's, you know, um, a hospital wants to get a new break room put in and it's going to cost $120,000. Well, 
Well, they have the jock program, and that's like basically where approved vendors can skip the bidding process and just get these fucking meaty ass projects. So that way, you know, like a, a university don't have to wait three years to put in some drinking fountains or, you know, alter an art lab to accommodate a weld shop or something. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. And so jock is the highest margins, highest quality. Like they, like for the public work, the quality is, I don't know if you guys know this a lot, but a lot of times like when you have plans designed, like they'll draw fixtures and like they'll, they'll spec fixtures. They'll say, we want this type of pipe for, with this faucet, this type of supply line, this type of shutoff valve, this type of ball valves and everything will be specced. But for 80%, 90% of the work you do, customers want to do what's called, they want to VE it. That's value engineer it. They're going to want to get like, you know, an equivalent, like a cheaper equivalent. Like it'll be specced for this badass sink and faucet, but they're like, well, give us spec something that's close enough, less quality, but good enough and a lot cheaper and you'll VE it. But that public work, it is never VE'd. Like you're like, you know, you'll be ran off the job if you value anything. They want everything exactly as specified. And so once you start dealing with that type of customer, the, the quality is far and away the most important part. And so I'm able to generate like higher mark off the jock work, higher margins than I do off my service with that similar volume as my construction, you know? So like I can, I can generate like a half million dollars in gross margin off of not a crazy amount of jock work. So I don't know, you guys may have never heard of that shit, but it's, um, it's definitely the world I'm trying to move into. So I guess this video is just about <sighs> that brass house shit works, boys. Like I, you know, I'm living it, I'm living it. And like, I'm, I'm coming to y'all and telling y'all when this shit works out and this shit is working the fuck. Boys, I'm about to have more money in the fucking Catholic church. I ain't gonna know what to do with all this shit. Like it is, I am seriously about to be fucking like, I already got a shitload of money and there's like hundreds and hundreds of thousands coming in. And it's like, I am so the fuck far ahead. Like so ridiculously far ahead. Oh, bye.